The Journal of John Woolman is an autobiography written by John Woolman, an abolitionist, journalist, and merchant in North America. First published in 1774 after Woolman's death, the book has remained continuously in print, making it one of the longest published books in the Western world. Through his journal, Woolman offers readers a glimpse into his life and thoughts. As his published works during his lifetime left much to readers' imagination. Woolman's strong belief in holding those in power accountable is deeply rooted in his spiritual perspective. He argues that a benevolent God, who cares equally for all people, serves as the ultimate judge of human actions. In presenting this argument, Woolman distances himself from the ideology of the Puritans, who held sway as the predominant religious group in North America during his lifetime. His autobiography is characterized by its simplicity, yet it avoids oversimplification, making it an accessible appeal for equal rights during the early days of North American colonization. A significant focus of Woolman's journal is his justification for actively fighting against slavery. He recounts an incident when he was asked to write a receipt for a Quaker friend who had profited from the slave trade. Though he felt remorseful, Woolman reluctantly complied, considering it part of his job. However, the weight of his complicity gradually burdened him, leading him to publicly denounce slavery. He firmly believed that slavery was fundamentally incompatible with Christian principles. These meditations on the injustice of slavery provide crucial private context for his previously published works, such as some considerations on the keeping of Negroes. Woolman vividly recalls various encounters with slave owners and neglected slaves with each instance deepening his distress as he struggled to reconcile the realities of their lives as either moral or economic necessities. John Woolman's strong opposition to slavery stemmed from his innate sense of right and wrong, even when he encountered slaves who were relatively well treated. This deep-seated feeling propelled him to become one of the earliest outspoken abolitionists. In his journal, Woolman delves into the unjust distribution of power that underpinned slavery. He laments the historical abuse of power by those in positions of authority, who often justify their actions through crude appeals to superficial differences like race and nationality, which are inconsequential to one's true self or natural law. Woolman recognizes the irony that many individuals who sought refuge in America to escape persecution ended up participating in a different system of oppression and learning to revel in their newfound power. Woolman foresees that power will continue to corrupt the spirits of the colonists, even as they distance themselves from England. He also critiques certain aspects of the prevailing organized religions of his time. Rejecting the Puritans' belief in an intolerant God, he embraces the idea of a benevolent God who deeply cares for all inhabitants of the earth. While the Puritans perceive God's wrath, Woolman, as a Quaker, sees divine mercy and goodness. Central to his religious beliefs is the principle of tolerance. He professes his faith in a God who judges individuals based on the strength of their convictions and the sincerity of their efforts to lead virtuous lives. In contrast, the Puritans exhibited hostility towards those who differed from them, as evidenced by events like the Salem Witch Trials. Additionally, Woolman touches on his rejection of materialism, going even further than the Quakers he identified with. Throughout his various roles as a preacher, tailor, and tradesman, he recognized the pursuit of wealth as contradictory to one's spiritual journey towards God. He viewed the accumulation of wealth as an increasingly burdensome weight. Ultimately, Woolman renounced his worldly possessions and desired only what was necessary for basic survival, distancing himself from the allure of material wealth. Woolman's rejection of materialism aligns with the transcendentalist philosophies espoused by prominent 19th-century thinkers such as Walt Whitman and Henry Thoreau. His journal has solidified his position as a leading public champion of racial justice in American history. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.